Welcome back into the Full Court Press. Tanner Barth, Nate Falk here with you once again. And before we get to those UNCW highlights that we promised you, let's check out a few more high school games. Cape Fear Academy, Nate, taking on a very good Covenant Day team. It is a non-conference game, but their postseason starts at the end of January, so it's time to rev things up a little bit. Yeah, and, and that goes for everybody. You know, yep. it's, it's that second half of the season where it's conference season. It's getting down to business time. Getting down to business. Let's get to those highlights, shall we? The Hurricanes sporting a 10-7 record. Looking for a good win over a tough Covenant Day squad. Cape Fear trailed early on, but they began to mount their comeback in the first quarter. Cross-court pass in the corner. KJ Kernan, thank you very much. I like this. Giving up the good shot for a better shot. Good ball movement. And then Hurricanes back within two, but Cape Fear would go man-to-man. -man. Covenant makes some pay. Missed assignment. Gamble. Thomas Haley. Looks like they gambled there a little bit, gave up the flush. Throws down that one, but the Hurricanes, you can't let them get hot. If you do, watch out Jack McErland from the corner. He's filling it, sharpshooter there from the left side. Good basketball driven, dri uh, dribble drive dish, kick for the three. It was a six point game at the half, but Cape Fear Academy pulls away 64 47 for the win tonight. Now let's go on to the girls game. Cape Fear Academy without second leading scorer, Kaya Simpson against the Lions, and it did not help. Anytime you have a 6'5 player, doesn't matter who she is, she can get Feed the job done. Feed her the ball. And they Sosa Amata Font gets it to go through the double team with ease, but then Chloe Kernan starts to heat up. You get to a spot, and she nails it. Smooth up there. That's why she's going to the next level. That is why she's going to play the next level baseline jumper with a hand in her Whoop. face, and then watch Whoop. out this move. She can do it all. Gets to the basket, splits the double team. Pretty layup, but the height, the covenant gave him major problems. Ina Fonnen, once again, offensive board. Give me that. Give me that. Put it back. She puts it back up and in, and it came down to the final seconds in this one, but the Lions pull it out at the line. 41-36, they get the win over Cape Fear Academy. And let's end our high school highlights tonight up at East Carter Red High School. Heidi Trask on the road. Titans would get off to a good start tonight. Nate, you know we love to move the basketball. Kids love to shoot the three ball. Tyron Pickett, you betcha. That's a long road trip, and that's how you want to start is that three ball. And they would do it multiple times. This time it's Robert Prigdon fights to the contact, knocks down the shot. But Daniel Griffey's Mariners would respond. Caleb Hyman, check out this. Down the court pass to Perry Austin gets the lay-in to go. It's a great rim rum. Pitch ahead. Transition. transition. They started to kill the Titans in transition. Hyman, another long slick pass to Jacob Nelson. The Titans couldn't overcome the run. They fall tonight 85-59. The final score up in Beaufort. And Nate, we talked about those UNCW highlights. Let's get on to those. The Seahawks really struggled so far in non-conference play. They're just 3-8. and eight. But this starts a new part of the schedule and a new chance for UNCW to still make the tournament if they're able to do a great job here in Casillas. I can promise play. you one thing: the emotion, the intensity was at Trash Coliseum tonight because it always is when the women's play. You know, Coach Burford does a great job with that, and they love to have fun. Let's get out to Trash Coliseum, check out those highlights as the Seahawks look to break their skid. Karen Barefoot, as we said, fired up to be back at home. You love, she loves her Seahawks. Check this one up late in the fourth quarter. UNCW up by two, but the Blue Hens get the equalizer. Nicole Inabasi gets the lane to go. She felt the defense where it was and made a good move. We would go to overtime tied at 61 apiece, but that's when the beast awoke in Gigi Smith. Straight to the basket, redshirt senior filling it up in overtime. Gigi just killing it off the bounce here to the, to the, uh, to the lane and finish. She had 17 points in the night. Ten of them came in overtime, but as you see, Delaware would cut that lead down. Abby Gonzalez beats the shot clock, but Gigi Smith says, this is my game, this is my night. If you look right here, the Delaware defender laid off because Gigi had just beat her twice off the drive. Gave up a three. And the Seahawks get the big win in overtime tonight, 71-65. And we talked about that big time win. UNCW really needed this one, Nate, after struggling through non-conference part of the year. Just three and eight, but they kept telling themselves, and you know Coach Barefoot, she's going to always urge, we're on to the next game, we're on to the next part of our season. Yeah, I think they lost a couple close games they probably should have won, but, you know, they got it back together. They had Christmas break. Sometimes that could be the best thing, get back in the gym, get back to the basics, and paid off for tonight. Absolutely. Let's check out our final scores one more time from around the Cape Fear.